Hello and shalom. This is Jay Rivka Sulin, founder and executive director of Ancient Roots Israel. Ancient Roots Israel is the first international herbal conference and community in Israel. We welcome you again to the virtual plant walk. I'm outside on an overcast day, as you can see. We have some rains coming back in, but... Just a reminder that uh, vitamin D is a really important thing that we all need to build and maintain a healthy immune system. So if you can get out in the sun, roll up your sleeves, uncover your hair, hike up your skirts, roll up your pants, expose as much of your largest organ, the skin, to the sun to get that vitamin D uh, to help us stay healthy. Um, today, I would like to show you a plant that is absolutely taking over the wild weed garden. It is called Medicago or burr clover. Now, it doesn't have those identifying burrs on it right now. This isn't the, the right time for that. Um, but I'll try and remember to send a picture when, when that happens. So let's turn around the camera and have a look. Okay, let's have a look at Medicago. Um, I believe this is polymorpha. Um, it's in the pea and legume family, which you can see by the sweet little flower there. Burr clovers have this kind of, you see it by my thumb right here, these kind of, they look like spikes, but they're very, very soft. Um, when you see the actual burrs, and you know, we're not going to get them now because that isn't the right time. But it's got this kind of spiky, uh, yet soft um, <clears throat> thing happening that you see. You see that spiky, <clears throat> excuse me, um, appearance repeated on the actual burrs, which is how it gets its name, burr clover. Um, there's that pea flower. If I can, whoa, get a close up over there there we go whoops there we almost go there we are okay so your typical pea flower yellow with um, some really slight streaking of another color that I can't quite place maybe something in the red or brown family <laughs> Again, I'm colorblind, so it's hard for me to make that out. Do you see that? They're really teeny tiny flowers. I mean, you can see it next to my thumb. I'm super zoomed in, um, but you might not notice that at a distance. Um, right. So the other thing about the leaves is that they are toothed. And when I was looking at it a bunch of times, I'm like, no, they're not. Um, I'll show you another one that looks less toothed here. Okay, you can't really make out the two the teeth on the leaves. It looks pretty smooth. Um, I'm gonna try to get a close up on that. But if you go really, really, really <laughs> deep into the leaves, and not all of them have it, um, like that other one, I still whoa, I still think that's pretty smooth. But let me try and show you if I can. Can you see the, the little teeth? Can you see that? They're there. Um, but they're not so noticeable. Which is why I'm not totally sure which Medicago we've got. If you have um, more information about this let me know see there you can see the teeth a bit better right there if you can see that right at the bottom of the leaf um so let me get another one that, right next to it i think i mean it's yeah they're there they're just pretty weak teeth um you know same same plant same stalk we've got this right here, which I showed you before. And I'm not, I'm not seeing teeth at all on there. I mean, maybe, I don't know. It's really, you know, they look like maybe a little scalloped slightly. <laughs> I don't know. That's why you have to cultivate a really good eye. But 
to me, I definitely wouldn't say that that was toothed. Um, a lot of people confuse them with a clover. I'm going to try and pull out again here. Okay. Uh, they pop up all over the place. I mean, I can show you, here we go, just kind of fields of them. They're growing next to the mallow, next to the, um, the, uh, storks bill, mallow leaf storks bill that we've covered in previous classes. Um, the flowers are not so noticeable. As you can see, they're not, you know, when you're looking at it from the top, you're just really, what's really popping out is these, um, again, to, to, to many people with an untrained eye, it's like, oh, look, a clover, uh, until you really get in there. But the flowers are a little bit lower down, a little bit more hidden, and really, you know, beautiful, sweet, teeny, tiny little flowers. I'm having trouble focusing on that again, but I, I got a shot for you earlier. So burr clover, burr clover can really, really take over as you can see.